All right, hello everybody. Welcome to week. Oh God, what is it? What is it? What is it? Week three, week two of the GSG. Um, I don't have anything super crazy to go over like last time, uh, cause I I didn't want to go into anything too advanced yet, um, cause you guys haven't really started digging too deep into any of like the mechanics and stuff. Um, but I did want to talk about controlling yourself in the editor because I figure some people might not be as familiar with 3D environments like this. And I wanted to talk about some things that you should be keeping in mind as you're building your gray boxing, especially if it's a gray box that you're planning on moving forward with. Um, Cause I've certainly had projects run into issues when a group member didn't keep certain things in mind. I'll get more into that when I get there, uh, but let's just, let's just hop straight into it. So it's come to my attention that some people are definitely not as familiar with working in 3D editors as others. I'm pretty sure Santello has gone over these controls, but I'm going to show them again. And I have a cool overlay. Woo, look at my cool overlays. Look at them do things. <laughs> um, that way you can see what buttons I'm pressing uh, a little more visually than just me saying, oh yeah, now hold down right click. Um, so let me just jump right into the controls and when you go to do this on your own i would highly encourage not even trying to do anything just have fun like doing laps in the level or something just to get used to moving around that way when you go to actually start working with things you'll have less frustrations of like oh i can't get where i want to go because i'm not used to moving around um so, as you might have seen, I've been holding down the right mouse button, and then from there I can use the traditional wasad to move forward, backward, left, and right. I could potentially also use Q and E to go up and down. My brain just likes using wasad for one reason or another. Maybe it's from the old Halo Forge days where I would always do the exact same thing, where if I wanted to go up, I would just point downwards and then back up. Um, or, or look in that direction. Um, so if I want to go up, I'd be like, wee, I'm going up. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's where I get the mentality from, but I always find myself just using Wasad. I even kind of forgot that Q and E worked, but that's your options for moving around. You hold down right click and then you move. Um, and so that's how you can sort of position yourself in the different ways that you need. And then once you let go of right click, you're back in just, I can click and move things around mode. Um, technically, you can hold down left click and move around. I am not a fan of this. I would not encourage doing this. Don't, don't hold down left click and like ever, uh, unless you're moving your like movement handles. I this actually kind of feels gross. I'm not going to lie. If you like it, all the power to you, but especially for people who haven't been doing any sort of 3D editors, I would not encourage doing this. It feels really weird. This, at least to me, feels a lot more natural because I'm like, look in direction, move in direction, look in direction, move in direction. Um, yeah, so that said, let's talk about editing stuff, you know, what we're looking at. So generally what you'll just need to do is you'll click on whatever you're trying to edit. Sorry, my mouse is like not showing up on my screen. So I have to look at my OBS to see what I'm doing. Um, you'll end up having the three vertices. If you move just one color, it'll move in that direction. If you grab it by two colors, it'll move on both of those directions. And if you grab it by the middle, it'll move by all three. This is significantly harder to control considering we're working 2D in a 3D space. <laughs> so it's, uh, I would encourage just using one or two at a time. Uh, cause yeah, it's just, it's hard to get a 3D movement with a mouse. Um, you, there are hotkeys to swap between three different things. I tend to forget them and I just click the buttons that are up here. Um, there is no grabbing by two different things when you're doing rotating. Um, but yeah, same thing applies here. Grab it by one, extends it by one, grab it by two, extends it by two. This one can make sense to grab by all three if you just want it to be, oh, hey, hey, come on, 
Okay, so back of risen forwards is what this is wanting me to do. Um, and now it's getting big off. Um, again, I would encourage you to just play around with, like, especially this test level that they give you if you guys have done um, either the, the first person or the third person, just to get a handle on it before, like, the pressure mounts and you have to be like, oh, I need to get my walls lined up perfectly or whatever. Um, if you have any, like, volumes, it's kind of hard. You can technically click on these, like, really fine borders, um, but you can also just find it over here. And then, again, if I want my volume to take up a larger area... Oh, I didn't mean to actually grab it by that one. And then... God, I can't see my mouse. I have to keep looking at OBS to see my mouse. Um, and there you go, now it's taking up this whole area here. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the same rules apply in, like, the actor editors. It's the exact same motion scheme. Um, oh yeah, that's actually a thought. In both of these, you can see there is a camera speed option. Uh, it's over here because it got shrunk. Um, if I'm like, hey, I'm having a hard time getting up where I want to go because my... I think it's default work because it's like, whoa, it's so fast. Uh, just slow the speed down. And then now you can move a bit slower. Or if I'm like, hey, I need to get across the map really fast. Whee! <laughs> um, oh god. Let's not do that. Uh, and yeah, and then also if you're like, hey, where where did I put something? You can actually double click on it. Oh. <laughs> Let me not be underneath the map. Uh, you can double click on it and it'll just bring you to it. Uh, yeah, so uh, there is also zooming. I tend to not use zooming too terribly often. You can also do like, I think, yeah. Um, alt and right click also zooms in. Um, I f personally find myself just just moving up closer rather than zooming in. Um, that just, for me at least, feels more organic than zoom. Um, but the options there, if that's what you prefer. So you might be wondering why having the geometry on your level be lined up as well as you physically can is really all that important. After all, when you're just working with a couple pixels, I mean, what's the difference? And for the most part, yeah, there really isn't much of a difference. You're probably not going to run into anything super crazy if, if your geometry is like a little off, maybe a little bit more resource usage than, than you should have. But for the most part, you can get away with having a little bit of jank here and there. Um, but I would definitely encourage you to get into the habit of making sure everything is nice and lined up, there's no overlap, there's no slight differences in your floor or whatever, because uh, you might run into some issues like what we had with this project here. This is the drone. It was the game I worked on with uh, for, for the capstone, and I was adding the sounds to our little drone here, and I wanted to have a sound that would happen if you like ran into walls and stuff. So if I run into this wall here, oh look, I, I made a boop sound, or a bonk sound, whatever. Um, I had to disable it in the game. I added a disable drones hit sound. Um, actually, it starts off uh, because when I went to go bring it into our level proper, I found out the hard way that our floors are not even. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, unfortunately it was way too late in the project for us to do anything about it, and even if we did have time, I don't know if we really would have, because we have a rather large map, so I'm, I'm not sure how we would have handled doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> make sure your floors are, are level, because uh, it might come and bite you in the butt when you least expect it. Alright, and that just about wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about today, and like I said, it's pretty short this week. Uh, if you guys have any requests, especially as you start thinking about what you need for your projects, uh, let me know, because I do have a few more open spaces of stuff, right? I don't necessarily have things planned yet. Um, I also do have a couple topics that are a little more random that I'm potentially going to be making videos on, um, that I'm still trying to figure out where they, where they fit. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know if you have anything that you want me to cover. Uh, also let me know that you watch this video, because I... I need to tell my boss that, that I'm helping people. 
Um, and I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention, but it's probably fine, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so have a great week, and I will talk to you all later.